Hey, how's it going out there, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Cash. This is Trucker News, or as some might say, hashtag Trucker News. Uh, we're going to get into some news stories. I'll tell you what this is right now. I'm an illiterate truck driver, but I'm going to read the stories to you that I think matter to trucking the most. So if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. Let's get to these stories. First story, Waver gives Yellow Corp yellow truck and yellow freight breathing room but with strict requirements from lenders that's a big one that's a big one uh trooper in a truck patrols taking place in nebraska this week come on with that Let's see truck tire anomaly sensor at the wyoming port of entry led to out of service orders citation Troopers offer real talk on alcohol possession as an on-duty truck driver. I know a lot of people love to drink that alcohol when they're sitting in their truck, but uh, this is a trooper talking here, so we'll see how they got to say about it. A uh, trucker was fined $3,544 for ignoring warding signs and getting stuck in Smuggler's Notch up there in Vermont. That's a hell of a fine, $3,544. Woo, that's going to cut into the profits. Semi-truck hot sauce spill leads to a hazmat response on El Paso Interstate. Are you kidding me? Hot sauce hazmat? Question mark. Uh, and then the big one, this is from a couple weeks ago, but I missed it on the last Trucker News. And I wanted to get to this one. It's uh, starting this weekend, truckers are banned from the left lane in New Mexico. And that's July 1st. So this story's from a couple weeks ago. But yeah, yeah, we're going to get to that. I'll see what you guys think about that. LTL carrier must submit weekly liquidity reports and budgets amid in-house operational advisory. Whew, yellow's in trouble, dog. If y'all don't know about it, they're in trouble. Hello, Corp bought more time as it fights for survival with a deal that waives certain covenants under its credit agreements. The agreement was effective retroactive to June 30th and filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission late Friday. According to the 8K filing with the SEC, the amended and restated credit agreement between the LTL carrier and a consortium of lenders did have a testing deadline for the covenant compliance on June 30th that now has been delayed. If you owe me money, Yellow, give me my damn money. Give me my money. I ain't waiting on it. We ain't agreeing to nothing. Give me my money. Because I'm telling you what, I'd be, I'd be real concerned if Yellow owed me money right now. The only thing they got going for them right now is apparently they got some real high-priced lobbyists in Washington. That's about the only thing they got going that gives me any kind of confidence that yellow will make it to the end of the year i and you know i hate it for the people that work there but that's just i mean you know it ain't looking good right now it ain't looking good next story trooper in a truck patrols taking place in nebraska this week i love this i wish they would do more of this as part of part of this week's national operational safety driver enforcement campaign the nebraska state patrol is conducting trooper in a truck patrols so, you know, when that jackass is riding with his phone down here, you know, doing like this, driving down the road, you know, not looking at the road, uh, and he's going to go, oh, that's not a state trooper. That's a guy in a bobtail. Let me go back to let me go back to firing off this Twitter comment that's going to light the world on fire. Do, 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 do. You know, and all of a sudden, bam, they got you, dog, because that ain't a bobtail. That's a trooper in a truck. I wish they would do more of it, you know. And a little disclaimer, if you see me in your mirror, if you look back and you go, hey, that's cash. Put your phone down. Let me get around you before you kill me and everybody else involved. You know what I'm saying? Just just do that. Like, trust me, that Twitter comment you're leaving, it ain't as bright as you think it is. It ain't as, it ain't as smart as you think it is, I promise. Uh, NSP is taking part in the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance Operation Safe Driver Week taking place now through Saturday, July 15th throughout North America. Now, Nebraska State Patrol announced that carrier enforcement troopers are conducting special enforcement efforts in various parts of the state throughout the part of the week of the Operation Safe Driver Week, and that these special efforts often include the trooper in a truck program where a trooper will ride with a semi-driver to spot dangerous driving behaviors of passenger vehicles around high-profile vehicles. You dang right, boys. I love it. I love it. Get these jack wagons off the road, please. I'm tired of it. You know, swerving all over the place. You know, it's like, hold the phone up here in the, and then so you can at least see the peripherals of what's going on. 
And if you're too stupid to know it, boy, they invented a thing called talk to text. I mean, I got my phone set up where I can say a certain word and it will prompt and I can say send text message to this person. And then it'll say, what would you like to send? And I tell them and it's it's right 50 percent of the time. Sometimes, you know, it throws some weird words in there I didn't say, but whatever. It's definitely safer than holding that phone down here on your leg. You know, I hate watch, I hate going around that guy. You know, when I'm passing that guy and I look over to the right and he's got, he's doing this right here. He's, he's down here on something. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't like the looks of that, buddy. <laughs> I usually give him a little air horn and uh, scare the hell out of them. You know, probably not a good idea. They're probably going to run me off the road doing that one day, you know, because they look up and they're all scared, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it could go bad, but I do it anyway because I find it funny. I like looking them right in the eye when I do it. It's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> truck tire anomaly sensors at Wyoming port of entry led to out of service orders, baby. You're going to love this one. You guys that you guys that maintain your equipment and run legal, you're going to love this one. Because right here, these right here are the boys that are bringing down the market for everybody. Okay? These are the guys that are costing us money right here. And I'm glad they're catching them. The Wyoming Highway Patrol recently utilized newly installed technology at a port of entry to detect a semi-truck tire issue and provide enforcement. On June 19th, law enforcement at the Evanston Port responded to an alert from a sensor technology installed at the facility for a commercial motor vehicle with possible flat tires. When the truck was pulled over for inspection, it was discovered that both inner tires on the same axle were flat. You got four tires on one axle, and two of them are flat. Not a good ratio, dog. <laughs> I'm just saying. And the, the Wyoming uh, Highway Patrol said on Facebook Monday afternoon, sensors at the Evanston Port alerted officers to commercial motor vehicle with possible flat tires. The truck was pulled aside for inspection. Inspectors found both inner tires on the same axle were flat. The truck was placed out of service until repairs could be made. The driver was issued a citation. Please let this serve as a reminder to do a thorough pre-trip inspection before hitting the highways. There you go. Yeah, completely off the rim, these tires. You know, we, we lucky they didn't get shredded or, or cause an accident, you know. But, yeah, they got him. So, I'm glad of that. Uh, let's see. Troopers offer real talk on alcohol possession as an on-duty truck driver. There we go. Iowa State Patrol Commercial Motor Vehicle Unit recently shared a buzzy social media post about the legalities of drinking and possession of alcohol when you're a semi-truck driver. In a July 7th post, Iowa State Patrol reminded truckers about the legalities of having alcohol in your truck. Most know this, but some do not. This is a quote from the Iowa State Patrol. Most know this, but some do not. If you did not know, alcohol is illegal to possess in a commercial motor vehicle while on duty unless part of your load and on your load bill of lading. Yeah, so unless unless you're hauling beer, you can't have beer in your truck, okay? You can't have a half-drunk bottle of Evan Williams in your cup holder, okay? Uh, enjoying a couple of cold ones while off-duty and staying at the truck stop. Don't buy more than you plan on drinking. As going back on duty with them on board is a violation of federal regulations. Always drink responsibly and don't get behind the wheel while impaired. There you go. So you're not allowed to have alcohol in your truck. And that counts the sleeper. Um, you're just not allowed to have it. If they inspect your truck and they find alcohol, an open container in it, that's probably going to be a DUI for you in the end of your trucking career. And maybe not forever, but for at least for years. Iowa State Patrol says that having a beer in your truck's fridge while you're on duty could result in a $135 fine and CVSA out of service. There you go. Uh, they catch a beer in your cooler. You're out of service. Most know this. There we go. I just read that part. But, yeah, there you go, guys. $135 fine in Iowa if you got any kind of, uh, you know, uh, beer or alcohol in your truck. And if it's an open container, you're out of luck. So uh, just keep that in mind, you know, if you want to have a beer or whatever, you know, do what you do, but don't be riding around with it in the truck. Uh, here you go. Trucker find $3,544 for ignoring warnings and getting stuck in the smuggler's notch. 
Man, this is a common thing up there. I don't, a truck driver from Florida is facing thousands of dollars worth of fines after his truck became wedged on the notorious Smuggler's Notch segment of Vermont's Route 108 in Cambridge, Vermont, over the weekend. Late Sunday night, Vermont State Patrol responded to Smuggler's Notch in Cambridge for a reported stuck tractor trailer. The trooper made contact with the truck driver. Whew, here we go with these names again. Uh, Bob Smith. <laughs> I wish. Use guys using near sir. You you near you nearer you nearer you near urinary tract infection. Uh, I don't know how to, yours in and and uh, I'm going to call him urinary tract infection for right now. It's just saying it's just easier. The urinary tract infection, 36 of Florida city, Florida. Uh, the urinary tract infection advised he ignored several signs that are posted stated tractor trailers are prohibited, prohibited. As he was following his GPS, multiple bystanders attempted to stop the urinary tract infection from entering the notch. However, he continued on. Yeah, it's hard to get rid of that urinary tract infection. The roadway was closed for several hours until the stock truck was removed with help from a tow truck. Virginia, Vermont State Patrol says that the urinary tract infection was issued tickets with a fine amount of totaling thirty five forty four on that. That's American dollars, by the way. Earlier this year, Vermont lawmakers introduced a bill that would fine GPS providers when tractor trailers became stuck in the notch. Oh, okay, so they're already working on that. I kind of rung a bell. I thought I thought they had uh, I'd read a story about that about a year ago. Uh, Semi-truck hot sauce spill leads to hazmat response in El Paso, man. It is, woo, that's some real hot sauce right there. That ain't, that ain't that regular old sriracha. It might be, I don't know. Uh, authorities in El Paso, Texas, responded to a major hot sauce spill on a busy interstate Friday. The incident began around 11.30 a.m. on June 30th when another driver noticed that a semi-truck traveling westbound on I-10 at the Hawkins exit was leaking a red liquid that Turned out to be Tabasco. Ouch. That's expensive stuff, dog. Uh, no injuries have been reported. Um, local reports that the truck was hauling 4,400 gallons of Tabasco. And of that, about 100 gallons had spilled onto the roadway. Bummer. He was hauling that in bulk containers, by the way. Uh, like those big boxes, you know, with the with the spout on the bottom, like for industrial use. The El Paso Fire Department reports that the hot sauce spill re resulted in a hazmat condition level three response as of Friday afternoon. I ten West at Hawkins was closed except for one lane. Dang it, Bobby! I guess they can't let the Tabasco sauce get into the water supply up there. All right, now here comes the opinion piece of the day. Starting this weekend, truckers are banned from the left lane in New Mexico. A new law restricting left lane traveling for trucks goes into effect this weekend, which would have been July 1st. Starting on July 1st, 2023, New Mexico new law banning trucks from using left lane goes into effect with some exceptions. The law requires trucks to stay in the right lane of any two or more lane highway unless actively passing another vehicle. According to New Mexico State Police, failure to obey the result could in, result in a, a penalty assessment of $250 for the first offense and the second offense, uh, $500 for the third offense. Damn it, Bobby. Uh, the left lane legislation was introduced by Senator George Munoz in January 2023. Munoz says that the left lane truck ban will reduce traffic congestion, increase highway safety. New Mexico State Patrol said the official signage will be placed on roadways to alert trucks to left lane restriction within the next few months, and police will begin enforcement. See the statement from New Mexico State Police. Yeah, there you go. So there's no signs up out there yet. You've been warned by me, so don't get a ticket. That's the best I can do for you is let you know here. And that's why you should subscribe to Trucker News, guys. This has been Trucker News. Thanks for watching, everybody. Smash that like button if you find value in Trucker News. Come join me for a live show, and always take care of each other out there. And remember, people are more important than trucking. Bye. Quick, I just want to remind everybody about the Mudflap app. If you're not using Mudflap, check it out, download it. It should be part of your fueling program. 
It's a free app. Go download it from the Apple or Android store. You sign up using credit card or bank account. No credit checks, nothing like that. No fuel card needed. Get yourself huge discounts on fuel. I buy about half of my fuel through it right now. It's an amazing free app. It's 100% legit. Sign up using my promo code there, and I'll get $10 in free fuel. You'll get $10 in free fuel. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you.